than two and a half days of searching, and now the effort has come to a close after rescue crews finally found the body of a missing 15-year-old. He was last seen struggling in Tinker's Creek near Willis Park Saturday, and today a couple found his body a mile downstream. Tonight, News 5's Mona Kosar Abdi is live from Bedford Reservation, and Mona, you saw another young man trying to take a swim in that same area today. Frank, it was truly unbelievable. Just two hours after that 15-year-old's body was found behind me, this young man was carrying an inflatable tube and was ready to slide down the shale rock into the creek. But fortunately, photojournalist Bob Fenner was able to stop him. And it's swimmers like that that the Chief Hope takes this incident to heart. A tragic outcome concluding a search spanning over 40 hours. He was actually located by uh, a couple on horseback. The rescue effort started shortly after 6 p.m. on Saturday night near Willis Park. Despite the no swimming signs in the area, the teen was reportedly last seen in the creek. We were approximately a mile from where he went in or where the reports he was last seen. Which the chief says surprised the rescue crews, but also served as a testament of the power of rushing waters. It's something that I think there's a general lack of respect for. And I hope this is a message to, to parents and, and to kids. Debbie Kramer, who frequents the park, echoed something similar. It's the lack of respect of the dangers. And she believes there is definitely a need for more education. Realizing the seriousness, you know, from schools or parents, maybe the uh, rangers can go into the schools. And the identity of the 15-year-old has yet to be released, but the fire chief tells us that there, his family has been notified. And as soon as we know his name, we will let you know as well. For now, live in the Bedford Reservation, Mona Kosarabdi, News 5.